What up? Old Eric, I'm coming to you live. I got a new one for you today. I got a hybrid joint. I'm going to take two marijuanas, mix them together, roll them in a joint, and smoke them just so you guys can find out what it tastes like. All right, first off, I got the Buddha's sister. It's a pretty big nug. It's really light colored, it's frosty, it's a really good. And I'm going to mix it with the light of jaw. Oh, just so you know, the Buddha sister is the indica dominant hybrid. It's 80% indica and 20% sativa. Now this light of jaw, I just got two little notes for you. This light of jaw is a sativa dominant hybrid. It's 75% sativa, so it's 25% indica. Check this out. This one's got the real light color too with the light hairs. It's frosty. Honestly say this one, it seems like it's a little stronger to me. It has the more harsh flavor. You know, it tastes it tastes just a little more harsh. Just a little bit. <clears throat> it actually kind of works your throat after a joint. Um, oh, and that Buddha Sister is actually really mellow and smooth. They're both sweet and they both have unique flavors. The uh, Buddha Sister is less unique than the Light of Jaw, but still unique. Alright guys, I'm going to take a bong rip. I hate rolling, rolling J sober. So light her up. Get you real freshed up. All right. <coughs> Handy dandy grinder. <coughs> I'm going to use my scale on this one just so I can make sure that I get an even amount. Now I just have to find my papers. There it is. And I don't know what you guys are using to roll up your stuff, but you need to get your game up. You need to get your element rice papers. Now, a lot of people are going to say, these are hard to roll. They're slippery. That's because they are awesome. They're ultra thin rice papers. You don't get a run. You don't taste anything. It's clean, guys. I'm about to. Just, I'm about to. Let me just show you. If you guys don't know where to get these, these are 300 packs. They don't really sell these in Colorado Springs. So if you need, contact me, old Eric at twitter.com or old Eric at gmail.com or oil Eric Facebook. Hit me up. All right, guys. These Ellen papers, as you can see, they're pretty much see-through. Well, you really can't see that good. But if, you can tell. They're pretty much see-through. When you roll it, you can see the weed inside. Alright, guys. Here it goes. I'm going to burn her up. There's not going to be any ash left on this. It's, it's crazy. Look at that. It burns to, like, nothing. That's all the ash from the whole paper. And that's, like, the piece that didn't burn. So, or the two pieces that didn't burn. So there you go, guys. Like, look at that. I mean, show me a cleaner paper than that. Y'all want to smoke hemp papers? Go ahead. I'm smoking rice. I don't smoke blunts. I'm not smoking a roll, a wrap. Forget it. I'm smoking element papers or other rice papers. I'll smoke some other papers, but I definitely ain't smoking no blunt. That's for sure. I definitely ain't rolling one. That's for damn sure. Alright guys, I want to kind of make this a fatty. 0.7, damn, that's a dense nug. 
You guys believe that? Point seven? Wow. Dense. Dense, dense, dense. Got my light of jaw in the grinder. Got a little some of this Buddha sister milk. Alright guys, you see it? That's the Buddha sister. That's the light of jaw. Let's twist it. I'm going to show you guys how long it takes to roll a joint. Get your weed broken up. You always want to, Breaking up is the key to rolling a joint, really. Like, if you don't have broken up weed, it makes it really hard. Some people just like to crumble it up a little. Nah, you need to break it up. You need to get it all one consistency. Put my jar lids back on my jars. Bam. Show you guys my rolling station. <laughs> it's a little bit past Halloween. But I got my pumpkin. I got my... Uh, foldable cardboard rolling thing from Vapor Nation. Thanks guys. I got a King Super gift card in case I gotta scrape some up. It actually works pretty good. You use the if you use this side the short side on your card you can use it to scoop your joint and your weed and it's perfect size for a paper. A lot of people will use the part of their papers. Never a good idea because then you get you get sticky trichomes and stuff all over your paper. Alright guys. So I gotta get my paper out. Bam. These kind of curl on the sides where the glue side is, but that's not a big deal. You don't even have to do anything over it. Take this baby, fold it in half. Some people don't fold them in half, some people are just that special. I just do that so it'll fit right in the little stand to hold it. Booyah. Open up the grinder. Oh wow, that's such a crazy smell. It's like a fruity smell. It almost kind of reminds me of a pet shop or cat food. <laughs> or cranberries even. Wow. It's like you went to a bunch of people's houses and mixed up the smells almost. Alright. Gotta get loose. You gotta get loose. Take my bud. Dump it right in my paper. Check it. Lay it out just like that. Perfect. Now what you want to do, you, you can kind of space it out if you want to, but basically what you want to do is kind of just clump it all into the middle and push the edges in just a tiny bit. Make sure you have it facing the right way, that's, that would be bad. Alright. Then we just take our paper with our butt in it just like that. We push it down a little bit in the middle just so we can get a starting point. and then we pinch it in the middle always start in the middle when you're rolling guys you can still roll stuff successfully without starting in the middle but it's the best then you roll the middle you don't worry about the sides lick it and stick it or if you want to be more sanitary or if you're going to smoke this with more people 
you could get water, dip your finger in the water and rub it across, but then you have a wet finger. Which kind of makes it hard to roll. Some people use glue and sticky stuff, honey. All of those things are great. They all work good. I've used them all. But, nothing more handy than a tongue. You know, it stays in your mouth. It's got a little container. Whoop! It's right there, back of your mouth, wet still. It's not fucking with anything. You don't have to have a wet finger trying to roll the joint, not touch that finger. Alright, guys. I know you're excited. The hybrid joint, half Buddha sister, half light of jaw. And it should be evenly laced because I broke it up half and half like that. It should be half on one side, half on the other side. Or it could be half in the front, half in the back. I guess we're just going to have to find out. <clears throat> oh, I need something to drink. I'm going to have to get my soda. You guys, you gotta quit drinking sodas, and I need to quit drinking them too, because they say that soda is as bad for your teeth as battery acid. And I don't know if you know what battery acid is, but that's sulfuric acid. <laughs> that's the stuff in cartoons that you see melting through the floor, guys. Like, that's how bad soda is for your teeth. That's how much sugar is in it. It's crazy. But it tastes good, I know that's right. <laughs> so, you know. You gotta try to be healthy, you know. The first step is realizing what you're doing is bad for you. So, you know, when, then you realize it's bad, you start limiting, you start controlling it, calling it, calming it down. I taste both of them. Wow, that, that works really great. It smells like the light of jaw. Has like that really um, floral smell. And the Buddha sister has like the berry sweet smell. You can't really smell the Buddha sister, but you can taste it. You guys, always when you're smoking your joints, you want to puff them before you you take your hit, you know, you want to take that puff too, you don't want to waste any of your smoke, but for real, and you want to try to hold it in, you don't want to waste all your shit, you know, it's it's all good, you know, puffing, blowing, puffing, blowing, but as you can see, like, part of my smoke is just burning up right here, you know, so I want to waste as little as possible, you know, least waste is best. Don't miss that. <coughs> Man, I've had allergies like the past couple of days real bad. But it's starting to clear up, so I'm happy. Mm. I really like strain specific smoke, but I like mixing it up too. I like taking two weeds and mixing them together, you know. Maybe I'll next time I'll take some keef and I'll make a supercharged joint. Maybe I'll take some water hash. I'm about to get a caviar pre-roll, so next that'll come out next. Probably, yeah, probably the next video I do will probably be that caviar video. Ah, oh, that thing's making me sweat a little bit. My mustache. Oof. Yeah, the light of jaw is really. It's like a 22% THC, and the Buddha sister. I don't think they know. It's it's at least 18 though. It's it's a it's a average to high. But they're getting real crazy with these strains in Colorado. They're just going nuts, really. Like especially the dispensary I go to, they're really trying to breed as much different variety as they can. They want to have as much strains as possible. They're trying to keep up on the newest, most popular strains. And I want to keep up with it too, guys. So if you heard of something you wanted me to try, you know, something crazy, something that's like your favorite mixed with something else, or you want to know more about certain strains, ask me. You know, I'll do some research I'll put a video up I'll do like the lineage of green crack I'll do uh, super silver haze I'll do uh, where Kush comes from all that kind of good stuff indica sativa ruderalis all the different types of cannabis plants most people don't know this but ruderalis is the auto flower it's the strains that you can put in 24 hour light you don't have to cut the light to 12 hour, 12 hour, 
to initiate flowering. These things flower on their own, but they can only get a certain height. You know, they can only produce a certain amount. Usually they get about three feet high to two feet high. And, you know, that's not bad, depending on how many plants you got. But if you have a limitation on the amount of plants you can grow, you need to grow as much big plants as you can. And a lot of people like a, a recirculating system to where they can have a perpetual harvest, you know, like harvest and then two weeks later harvest again or harvest every day or harvest every week, harvest every month. I believe that you should utilize your entire flowering space and harvest and flower it completely. You know, you shouldn't have like, these ones are just started and these ones are halfway through, these ones are fully grown. You need to have them all at the same height, you need to have an even canopy and you need to be flowering them all together so that way you got one phases of growth at a time instead of multiple phases of growth that's like a headache you know unless you got multiple people to help you that's you're really gonna be over your head pretty soon you know you're gonna be <laughs> just constantly transplanting constantly cutting clothes constantly putting in every single day the same thing same thing same thing same thing same thing I like having it you know I do all my veg, I do all my pots, I do all everything, get that all ready, get my soil ready, get my nutrients all set up for the grow, pick my strains, put them out, and I like to do them all in one strain or half of this strain and half another strain, but I like to do similar strains, you know, with similar growth characteristics, because I don't want half my grow tall and lanky over here, and then my other half my grow short and bushy over here, you know, that's... That's bad because you either have to position the indica ones that are short and bushy around the interior of the light and your sativa, your tall lanky ones around your exterior of your light. So it's better to just have similar, you know, because a lot of sativas, when they're this tall, they won't produce that much, you know. But an indica this tall will produce just about twice as much, you know what I mean? Because they start initiating the flowers at lower points on the plant and on sativas, it needs like about you know about six to seven inches before they start budding and having actual they have a lot of branching and stuff but not a lot of flowers which is interesting you know like the sativas have the long thinner leaves and the indicas have the fat shorter leaves and hybrids have everything in between you know you have some plants that grow like sativas that have leaves like indicas you have some that grow like indicas that have leaves like sativas and everything in between you know you have ones that grow completely like indicas that aren't even indicas you know they're mostly sativa dominant you know they'll be 60 70 percent 75 you know there's not there's no real exact measure you know because each phenotype of each seed is going to be different that's why the clone only strains are getting so popular lately because the clones they're exact genetic replicas of the plant that you took a cutting from, meaning your mother plant. And then, then they all just grow exactly the same. Every cut you take is going to grow just like the other cut. It's it's pretty awesome. You know, and each cut you take off of that cut is going to grow just like the cut of the other cut. Just like its cousin's cut and its aunt's cut and the mother cut and the grandmother cut. They're all going to grow exactly the same no matter how many cuts you take. Eventually, you can... Uh, you can lose the strain, you know, it'll wean itself out, but that's just the strain, you know, like your clone at, your clone only strain is, you know, it's evolving, I guess, you know, honestly, it's not that it's losing its flavor, that it's, it's gaining something else, you know, everyone focuses on what you lose instead of what you gain. For instance, you might have a lower THC content, but a higher CBD content, which might not seem like the greatest thing at first, but CBD is, I think, three or four times more medicinal than THC or THA, or I mean THCA. So CBD is actually the most medicinal cannabinoid in the plant. That's why they're coming out with the patches and the oils and the tincture because you can get a very high concentration of CBD without having the high concentration of THC. Which I personally, I would love to have the high concentration of CBD with the high concentration of THC. But it's kind of a 
an if or or. But I don't know about the concentrates. I don't know if the concentrates have CBDs or if they're only THC. I'm pretty sure they're only THC. They might be THCA too. I'm not sure. <laughs> I just sparked my curiosity. Now I'm gonna have to go research that. Come out with a new video explaining everything. You know, <laughs> I'm on it, guys. Anyway, I'm gonna finish burning this. I'm gonna go grab my drink. I might, I might play some games. I need to clean up and do some things. You know, so oh, I'm getting ready for that cannabis code, guys. So if y'all are coming up, y'all need to come and get ready. Get your hotel. Get your tickets. Get everything straightened out. I mean, you don't have to, you know, just come do it, you know, it'll still be awesome. But it's just that much more fun when everything's pre-planned, because if you're getting, let me rephrase that, if you're medicating, you know, or recreationally medicating, or however they deem recreational smoking, you know. So, if you're doing that, and you don't know where you're going, or what you're doing, and you're at a place where you're new to, or you haven't been in a while, or you don't know anybody, it's going to be complicated, you know, and it'll be stressful. And you don't want that when you're trying to medicate. I mean, you can definitely handle it while you're medicating, but it's a lot more enjoyable when you're just chilling, you know, having fun. You know, it's better if you have, like, somebody that doesn't like to smoke and you have them come and you have them drive you around and tell you where you're going to go. You tell them the plan beforehand and let them just kind of... <laughs> But, I'm personally, I'm probably going to be tour guiding this whole time, so it'll be fun. Uh, it's going to be my first time up there. And I'm planning on going to the 710 Cup, too. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get any footage at the Cup, but I'm definitely going to take, like, at least a five-minute shot, you know, before I get there when I'm in the line, maybe after I leave. I don't know if I'm going to have time to do anything while I'm in there, you know, guys. I got to enjoy it, you know. I'm going to have people with me and stuff, so it's going to be kind of busy. I might, I'm going to try to do something, you know. And if I do, I'll have a bunch of guests, special guests on the show, you know. So it'll be not just one review, so it'll be multiple reviews. From multiple reviewees. Marijuana connoisseur and patrons. Alright guys. Thanks for coming checking me out. Thanks for chilling. Uh, check me out next time. It's always fun. You know. And if you guys aren't smoking, you know, you can just puff along with me like you got one and just, you know, that mind is stronger than you think, guys. If you're on probation, you know, you got to not smoke, you got a job where you can't smoke, that don't mean nothing, guys. Like, if you smoked before, you're always a smoker, you know. Maybe you're going to move to a state where it's going to be legal. Maybe it's going to be legal in your state. You never know. Like, I'm from Texas, and... I just found out that Texas is already 63% probably going to pass for medical marijuana. And I don't know what the regulations are going to be on that. But I personally know some older folks that were in the military, you know, and they get their little metal tin full of doobies every month. You know, like it's like hundreds of them pre-rolled, ready to go, just, you know, it's crazy. It's crazy to think that there's some people that can still have marijuana in a state where it's illegal, where it's in a country where it's federally illegal. You know, it's crazy. And there's no medicinal value? Really? Come on, guys. Is is this the same thing as heroin? Come on, guys. Am I, am I drunk? Like, can I jump in my car and drive if I have to? Can I, like, you know what I mean? If, if my grandma called, you know, could I snap out of it and talk to her, you know, and and be respectful, and, you know, and, come on, God, of course I could, it's simple, this, this doesn't do nothing, guys, this, this is a plant, it's like a vitamin, really, you know, it, it does get you messed up, you know, and you can abuse it, but you're not supposed to, you know, you don't need to do anything that way, you don't need to do food that way, you don't need to do anything that way, guys, you don't need to do video games that way, movies that way, your car, anything, your job, whatever, you don't need to be too into anything, guys. Um...